Hey dolls, in this video I'm going to be unboxing one of my sets that I got from ToysRUs.com so I'm going to open it up, show you what I got inside and we'll get started from there. So as flashback, before we look at the dolls that I got, remember when I said there was one more doll from this collection that I wanted to get that I didn't have? Well, really a couple, but one in particular? Well, we're going to find out who it is. Ta-da! I got Ice Cream Romper. So that was the doll that I had got. And I'm going to tell y'all about these dolls and why I got them and what I intend to do with them. Now, there are some things that I'm going to show you that I'm seeing now that I open the dolls that I'm really disappointed about in some of these dolls. For one, as you can see, Ice Cream Romper's hair is just all over the place. Um, and then this one, I'm going to show y'all her up close. I'm really disappointed in her because I really had high expectations for this doll. But she has major defects going on. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open each of these girls up. Well, not all of them, but I'm definitely going to open up. Really, I don't even know what I'm going to do because this one over here has me so disappointed. I'm about to Instagram some of hers to see how other people's dolls look and see if mine is just really defective. But I'm going to show y'all these dolls close up so that y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so first I'm going to tell you the price for each of these dolls. Now, Ice Cream Romper was $9.99, um, African American Music Doll Set $19.99, and Barbie Fashion Needs a Doll Set with Fashion over here, it was $19.99, but I got $15 off of this order because I had Toys R Us rewards points that I, I actually used. So, I don't know why they don't have it on the receipt, they just put the regular price, but I didn't pay full price for these items, so I wanted to say that, and that's what made me go ahead and order them from ToysRUs.com instead of anywhere else. Um, but let me show you some of these dolls up close. Okay, Ice Cream Romper is really cute. I think that her face looks better in person, and maybe it's because she doesn't have her glasses on, I can actually see her face. I think she has a cute little outfit, and I love her shoes. These are like a pearl type of nail polish that I have, so that's kind of cool. So, I'm feeling her set. I do love this outfit. Um, her hair is out of place in here, but we're going to see if we can get that right when I go ahead and unbox her and brush her hair out. Next, we have um, playing the keyboard Barbie. All right, and as you can see, she has some really cool accessories. She got the piano, the keyboard, just like my daughter. Um, I really like this these accessories as far as like the mic stand, and that's some cool stuff I can I can probably do with that. She has some headphones on, a guitar, um, and then she has a little piano desk looking thing, as well as a seat. And as for her outfit, I think her outfit is pretty cute. She comes with a nice cute skirt on a top. And then she has some white boots on. Alright, so this is the back of the box. So that you can see everything a little bit better, what she comes with. So, now let's talk about why I got this doll. I originally got this doll because she is um, an articulated body. And y'all know Grace is mom, Trish, from The Real Barbies of Atlanta. I've been thinking about making her into an articulated body. I'm not sure about it because I really love this doll. And I think that her pose, the way that she stands, gives her a lot of attitude. So I'm kind of on the fence about this. Um, but I will tell you, I did not intend to keep this doll um, to use her because I don't like her... Um, the way that they painted her face however I don't know if I posted the video yet because I'm recording a series of videos and then I'm gonna go ahead and edit them so I'm not sure what order I'm gonna edit them but in case I didn't post my first repaint video I really love how my first repaint came out I didn't know if I was gonna be good at it but since I, I was I'm gonna go ahead and repaint her face because I don't like her with the green eyes and I definitely don't like her with the peach lips. Like, that just doesn't look good. I think that Barbie has a pretty face mold. I love her complexion. But they didn't do her right um, on the paint job. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this doll. I'm still kind of considering swapping Grace's mom to this body. 
But I'm definitely going to repaint her face regardless of what I do. So y'all just let me know what y'all think that I should do. I'm thinking I might just end up doing a repaint with this doll. And then last and least right now, we have Barbie Fashionista. This is the main doll that I was excited about. But I'm yeah. super, super duper disappointed because I think something is wrong with her face mold. Yeah. Like, her head just doesn't look right. It looks kind of lopsided to me. And I'm going to try to show y'all her close up. First, let me show y'all the back. See, look how beautiful she looks on the box. You see what I'm saying? That's what I was expecting her to look like. All right. And then these are the other ones that comes in her set. Now, I did just order her. I'm about to do a video about her because I ordered her Amazon Warehouse. So, we're going to see how she comes looking. And I have this doll, but I didn't get her in the deluxe set. I just got her alone. Okay. So, back to her. I do like the little outfits that she comes with. Even though this kind of reminds me of like a hospital scrub t-shirt. Um, I guess it could be cute for Barbie. I love the shoes. I love the necklace and the purse. I love this bag. And I, I like this outfit, even though it kind of looks like it could be, like, the shorts look like a nightgown set. So, I don't know. Like, kind of looks like it could be a nightgown set. But we'll see when we try it on her. But back to this doll, like, let me see if I can show you her close up. Her face has a lot of stuff going on on it. Like, it has a few black marks on the face. Um, I'm pretty sure I could wipe it off, but I'm not gonna lie, this doll disappointed me so much that, um, I was thinking about just returning her, but it takes forever for Toys R Us to ship, like, this took a full seven days for me to get my order, and I'm so used to ordering from Amazon and getting in two days, the seven days feels like <laughs> an eternity, <laughs> um, but, I don't know, y'all, what do y'all think about her, am I tripping, is she supposed to look like this? Maybe she's supposed to look like this, but it's just something is off with this with her face to me. And another thing, she has brown eyes, but on the box, she has green eyes. So I don't know what the trickery was with this doll. She just didn't hold up like the rest of my fashionistas did. Y'all already saw the video that I did with her. She looks pretty much almost exactly, I mean, not exactly like she does on the box, but she's a really pretty doll. And then my other two fashionistas that I still have to open... They look like how I expected them to look. So I'm really not sure if her face is just defective or what. And I'm really kind of, I'm not going to lie, I'm really disappointed about it. But like I said, I don't feel like waiting um, like a whole nother. I don't feel like going to the post office to return her and going to that. I know I can, I think I can just go to Toys R Us, Toys R Us and return her. Um, but I just really don't want to go through that. I just wanted my dog to come in good condition. So I'm really disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I've ordered from ToysRUs.com before, and I never had issues like this. So I don't know um, what's going on with that. But I'm going to go ahead and open up um, a few, some of these dolls because I'm going to save her to open up with my other double pack fashionista. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Ice Cream Romper so that we can see how she looks. And we'll finish this video with that. So real quick, so real quick, I think I figured out what it is. I was scrolling through my Instagram looking at other pics of this doll on somebody else's page. And I don't think that they put her face right. Like her, she's supposed to have a little bit more forehead than that. Like they, I guess they stamped the face on there wrong. I definitely feel like this doll is defective. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, like I'm super pissed off about it. But what I'm going to do, um, I think maybe this is just a sign from the most high to go ahead and continue to work on my skills. So I'm probably just going to end up definitely repainting this girl's face. Her lips aren't even on all the way. Like, if you if you look closely, I don't know how much detail y'all can see in the camera. Like, the paint isn't even all the way over her lips. Like, it's not stamped on there correctly. So, yeah, definitely disappointed in this doll. So, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and open up Ice Cream Romper. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm feeling some type of of way right now because she's definitely a defective doll not ice cream romper but my girl back there like y'all don't understand how bad i wanted this doll and i've already literally probably waited like three or four days to open up these boxes because i've been doing other stuff so i was expecting to open it up and it just be all perfect but it's not and even my ice cream romper girl's hair is all over the place but i'm gonna go ahead and take her out brush her hair and see if we can't snap back Okay, 
Okay, so now that we got ice cream romper out the bag, I just wanted to show y'all her up close. As y'all see, her hair was misplaced when it was in the box, but she's fabulous. She looks really good. Face mold is perfect. They got this one right. I like her little outfit. It's really cute. And then I don't know if you can see her shoes are like kind of a pearlish. They have a white pinkish hue. Like when you get that pearl color on your nails at the nail salon. And then her accessory is her shades. And her hair, as you can see, has pink other underneath. So it's actually red. And then it has a layer of um, pink underneath the nape. So yeah, overall, I'm feeling this doll. I like her. I think she's really cute. I'm not sure what her name's going to be. Um... But she's definitely going to be on The Real Barbers of Atlanta somehow. And I'm also thinking she's probably going to end up being a high school student. Because she does have a high ice cream romper on. So yeah, she's going to be in school. Um, but yeah, I can't even think straight. So I'm not even going to lie because I am so <laughs> disappointed at my doll in the back. Like I wanted her out of all the dolls that I ordered lately. And I have a whole bunch of I still got a lot to unbox. She's probably the one that I wanted the most. So I'm just really upset about that. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, see if we can't fix her face more. I'm just going to repaint her face. And it's aggravated me so much that I, I wasn't planning on doing that tonight because I have a lot of other videos I need to be working on. But I'm probably going to start working on her repaint tonight. Like, I'm going to do her face before I even do her face. Because at least her face is laid correctly. I don't like the colors that they use on her, but her face is done right. You see what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, I don't know, y'all. So, this is my little Toys R Us haul. Um, or whatever. I spent, I don't even remember how much I spent. No, I did. I spent $37 on this order because, like I said, I got $15 off with my Toys R Us rewards. So, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And at least you know now that sometimes that's the thing about when you order dolls online. They don't always come correct because people, I guess, who package in them or however the process works... Those people probably don't even care about dolls, so they're probably not even paying to attention to details like that. But that was the first time that's ever happened to me. So, like I said, maybe it's a sign that I need to just give her a repaint anyway. I know she's definitely going to look better than she looks right now. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about these dolls. Also, let me know if this has ever happened to you. Have you ever ordered a doll and they come just like not right <laughs> so disappointing okay i know y'all can probably hear it in my voice um but yeah this was my toys r us haul i hope that y'all enjoyed the video i love y'all and i'll talk to y'all later <laughs>